everyone is gordon einstein again uh your favorite i hope crypto and blockchain attorney based in dubai and i am continuing my series of short efficient but impactful videos with experts in different fields that i think will be useful to my audience and community uh today i'm very happy to present Dr. Sanjar. Uh, Dr. Sanjar is a gentleman that I met maybe two years ago, uh, thanks to Sheikh Noonan, who is a local yeah. fixture here who I'll have on the show also, and was nice enough to show me around. When I went to uh, the doctor's office, he, he's a lawyer, he's a specialist in intellectual property and, and all kinds of topics we can go into. Uh, very fantastic background. And when I went to his office, he was kind enough to walk me through what he's doing. And he has a very unique perspective, sort of a an outsider entrepreneurial businessman's like perspective that I think can provide some insight to our community. I, now, as everyone knows, I'm a lawyer also, so we may get into some, we may get into some sort of legalistic debates or arguments or back and forth. Uh, hopefully, the audiences will be attracted to that idea. But enough of the intro, uh, Dr. Sandra. Thank you so much for taking the time to come on the show. I I know you're really busy, so I, I appreciate it. You know, I, I know you're a busy guy, but welcome. Thank, thank you for invitation. So I am ready to share with you the last, last innovations in the legal industry in IP and the benefits that can that, that are available worldwide. People just don't know about this one. And maybe sure. and I, my, my suggestion, yes, we can consider today two main topics mm -hmm. because you know IP touching all industry. It's from, from different categories, different counters. But I think the most interesting, most trended uh, virtual assets and fundraising, mm -hmm. and I want to share the best knowledge or best expertise and some last cases that we have successfully closed. This will be de definitely uh, unique and useful for your listeners. Fantastic. So we'll we'll have those two main topics because obviously this is a short format show. Let's briefly touch on, touch on your background and credentials. Obviously, you're, you're you're well known. You have lots of things that people can find out about you online, and we will share links in the show description to where they can look, but it's always good to get an overview. And I know you recently got a very prestigious award and recognition. So let, let, let's just efficiently, you know, how did you, where are you from? How did you come to this area of legal practice and the UAE and how are things developed? You know, a few minutes of that, and then we'll get into the legal topics. So, so please. Yeah. Thanks so much. So I'm 28 years in the intellectual property industry. I'm originally from Uzbekistan. But I left this country many years ago. I was living all around the world, from Europe, Asia. Now I'm living in Dubai last nine years. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm also president of Sanjar Group, International Business Consortium of uh, Lawyers and Experts. Mm -hmm. So we, we are working in 35 countries all around the world and total number of our expert cons consultants, more than 250 globally. And last year I was recognized, uh, I very appreciate also, I'm proud of these results, world best patent attorney, as per International Intellectual Law Property Association, the United States based um, yeah, NGO, it's very prestigious in professional industry. And now I, I, I'm happy to share the last knowledge with big cases, with big clients that we have reached uh, today with you and with your, your listeners. That, that's fantastic. And, you know, just to reiterate that, the world's best patent attorney. That's yes. crazy. And you're, and, um, and, you're, and you're on my show. So that, that's that's lovely. Okay, yeah, now, is, I, I know you want to dive into the topic. So you, you and you know you're very modest about your background, and I think when people will look at you online or get your full professional bio, they'll be blown away. But I to use our precious time. So the first topic you wanted to cover, if I understood it correctly, was sort of the application of intellectual property law concepts and practices to virtual assets specifically, and what VASPs or service providers or people dealing in industry to think about and do that they may not think, be thinking about now when it comes to intellectual property. Is, is that correct? Is that the first topic? Yes, 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 yes. And I okay. want to explain, uh, you can see that in all mass media, whatever coming, mostly, most trended ideas and directions and they're all talking about virtual assets. Mm -hmm. NFT, token, blockchain, smart contract, coin. So you see, this is the dominant, dominant topics in modern economy globally. But the problem is that uh, all legal frameworks that existing right now, mm -hmm. no, they don't understand. They are not reaching the same level of regulation. Uh, we have conducted the internal analysis 
So only 1% of modern economic relations in blockchain virtual assets are regulated. 99 is not regulated. And this creates big, this create big headache uh, for the business or the startup owners because all of, all of them always feeling that they are on the like cross on red line. They cannot be relaxed because uh, we know the the main regulator of this industry is American Security and Exchange Commission (CAC). Yeah, and they clearly put statement clearly. Hi guys, whatever you will do with virtual assets for us, this is the gray area until you will prove that this this is uh, will re- recognized as a utility or something else. Mm-hmm. But to, to to provide such kind of recognition, look around, it needs a lot of money for the lawyers, for the litigation, for the process. Uh, all, and I'll, all, I'll tell you, as a U.S. licensed attorney, the SEC very rarely is clear. It's not like Switzerland or the UAE. Yes. They don't give straight answers. It said very rarely you can get a no action letter or, so, or something like that. But you can talk to them. You can have fun conversations. That you, you can have informal consultations. But they don't have a clear licensing scheme, unlike other countries. It's very it's part of the reason I'm in Dubai is because of the shortfall in the U.S. regulatory structure, which kind of put a damper on it there, which much much, much to my sadness. So I completely agree with you. Anyways, go on. Yes, and uh, if you check just pure legally, there are only one way how to be on the safe side: register mm-hmm. a virtual assets as a securities under this commission. This yeah. only one way, and CAC forcing all of companies who deal with virtual assets to do this one. But sorry, to, to pass this process, you need one year at least. One year. Second, at least. You, at least, a minimum, yes, usually two years. But we have cases when within one year, it was successful. Okay. Second, uh, about the cost. It will cost not less than one million United States dollars. Because you should create product, you should prove. Uh, say, uh, number three, you should mm-hmm. have Special dedicated staff. You have IML officer, risk managers. There are a lot of special teacher accredited certified expert. Mm-hmm. So it, it's quite it's very complicated scheme if you want to legalize sort of securities. And definitely 99.9 percent participants of virtual uh, assets market who are minting the tokens, issuing the coins, trading. They didn't pass all this process. And they're all in gray area. It only matter of the time when SEC will come to check them and to put some penalties. This is the dark side of virtual. Good mm-hmm. side is fast, is recognized. All of us using the crypto legally, legally, we don't care because it's bring to us a real economic benefit. Yeah. But when you go public, when you start working with the open market, when you want to make some advertising promotion, immediately you go under the risk. Definitely, yeah. if there are 100,000 or 200,000 projects, CAC physically cannot check all of them. But there are some algorithms and robots who are checking the big deals, who put the monitoring, supervision, and this all under the risk. Now, what, what, what we as a lawyers who are supporting the uh, entrepreneurs in virtual assets, what we can suggest to them? Which mm-hmm. alternative uh, could be created? Because the problem is that um, all these participants could be recognized as a violators, not because they are specially doing something, but they don't have any other option how to legalize selling the virtual assets. In different countries, now they start thinking in European, in Switzerland, but also this going under the regulation of virtual assets. Mm-hmm. And we think that there are one of opportunity if we consider from absolutely other angle. Uh, this a uh, new uh, time, new legal tool. How at least we can somehow assist to be on the safe side. We considering the intellectual property because okay. any project, any project consists of IP. Without IP, not possible. They have a brand. They have at least source code. They have some uh, algorithm or business concept, business model. So mm-hmm. three, five, or six types of IP exist in any project. And now the business owner, he has the right to register all this IP as an IP portfolio. And we oh, found- I, I, think very, I, where, I think I see where you're going with this. This is this is very creative. Yeah, good, go ahead. This is interesting. Yes. And one IP portfolio created, now this IP portfolio confirm your ownership to the product directly, even without the company. It means it's, if you are a physical person, like private individual, and you have the IP portfolio, you could be directly owner of the IP portfolio, even without the company. 
and then given for the company just for management purposes. But you will be final owner of this one. Once it will done, then you also have option to sell share of this IP portfolio to potential investors. It's allowed. This means mutual ownership. Oh. When two, three, five, or hundred people can be co-owner of the IP portfolio. Okay, now now let, let me. This, I, I I see where you're going with this, but now I'm act like a lawyer. And, and is it not possible that a fractional share in an actual property will also be a security? No, because in no? our case, no. Yeah. I will explain why. Uh, because this fraction of IP, IP itself. For example, I have a brand. Okay, brand. It's not a security because brand this intellectual property which are regulated under the Madrid Treaty. Uh, administrated by the World Intellectual Property Organization, WIPO. Okay. So if it registered IP, registered IP exists in the real economy and such kind of things will never be recognized as a security because it's IP. More than 100 year, year, year of history, this is real economy, it's not virtual. Like like property, like car. Car may, never will be recognized as a security or, or real estate. Because you, this sorry, item is, just to jump in and just Look, it's a great idea. The reason I'm asking questions is because I want to apply it and recommend it. So I just want to understand. Okay, sure, a car would never be IP, but a fractional interest in a car sold on the market with the idea that someone would might buy it with investor intent might be this a security. No, because to be recognized as security, there are how we test H O W E Y. How we as for how we test uh, one of the main criteria. That should be investment in enterprises. If you're investing in okay, the car, good argument. Good, you're right. The common enterprise prong. Okay, fine. Yes. yes. Okay, so just just for audience, there's four prongs to the how he does this. This is actually what I do for a living. You know, and sure, there's an investment of money. You know, with investment intent in a common enterprise with the intent to make a profit, right? Yes. But, you know, um, in in common enterprise, it's vertical and horizontal. But you're right. That's very interesting because if it's just a patent, if it's just bare intellectual property, it's not an enterprise. Of course. That's the reason why we are recommending on the initial stage register IP portfolio directly on the name of the owner or the group of owners because maybe 10 founders of the project. You can split and be co-owner of the IP rights. And such kind of fraction ownership of IP will never be recognized because even under the formal sign, it not fall to the test and to not be recognized as under security because this real economy is just registered IP. That's it. And, and, and you're right. It, it is unlike securities law. It is subject to an international treaty, the yes, WIPO. Of course, of course, so it, it could course. be a treaty violation treated like a security. No, you know uh, the problem uh, with IP classification could come only from IP regulated industry. Uh, what kind of penalties could be if it's not properly registered, not properly classified, if search was not conducted. So violations in, in IP industries are, they have other nature, other legal nature, uh, despite of the other uh, securities. So okay. that's the reason why it will be on the safe side. If uh, you will be go through the IP, split the IP in the share or fractions and sell to your potential partner. Now, for example, usually uh, mutual ownership of the IP rights exists in more than 100 years. But no one uh, can find way how do it convenient to sell in the mass. For example, if you split for 1 million IP shares, how to manage all the things. Mm -hmm. And we spent four years to launch the system, which giving opportunity to manage IP shares. And our big, big, biggest clients, they have more than 1 billion IP shares and splitting and selling as a part of IP. Once fraction was created, now you have two options how you can sell uh, this IP. Option number one, you can sell by old school IP right transfer agreement, like on the paper, with stamp, this exists in many years. Yep. But why, why we cannot change this all, all, all hard copy contract to the smart contract? Because this legally allowed, we can sell our IP shares using smart contract, what is a token? So in our solution, we using token not as a subject of the deal, but as a tool for automation records and move inside the blockchain between different owners. But the deal itself is through selling the IP rights. I That's the reason why, why how we can use the blockchain tokens and IP to start selling. 
This is the legal framework, but token of sale, this blockchain item. Okay, now let, you, let me ask you, have you, have you successfully done this with a client? Of course, 22 times. 22 we can times. share with you a list of, list of cases when we start selling and it was it was very successful. So we are, we are selling, because uh, even in Dubai, for example, if you sell any real estate property in Dubai, apartment, villa, Mandotri will be generated as a token for Dubai land department. This is a token, but this token to serve the deal. It's not subject of the deal token. That's the reason why CEC Commission will never recognize token for real estate as unregistered securities. Mm -hmm. Because this is just mechanical tool, technical tool to serve the deal. Same in our case. We're using token as a uh, smart contract to solve the transaction related to intellectual property registered as an IP, as per real economy regulations. It's nothing with virtual assets in terms of definition of CSC commission. Okay, I, I, I think I understand. Let, let me repeat that back to you just to make sure I do. The, the, the token itself isn't the value. The token is more like proof of the transaction. Two, yes, two, just okay. records, recordation two. Oh, okay. Yeah. So then, then, then is the token tradable? Yes, of course, because, but you're not trading the trade uh, token, you trade the IP share, share or fraction of IP. You can resell. Okay, I, I understand. So you, you, you're, you're basically dematerializing the, the, the fractional interest and, it, and it's represented by the token, but the token isn't the interest. The yes. token is sort of the the record of what happened, not the, yeah. not what happened. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you're absolutely right. Yes, and this opening absolutely legal way how now you can trade, but uh, your IP should be registered properly. This is special process. It's not cheap, by the way. It's but it's not one million US dollars. This okay. cost could be about hundred or two hundred thousand dollars because IP should be registered, classified, valued. There are a lot of work should be done as per requirement regulation of IP industry. But co comparing to other solutions, this is five, 10 times cheaper, it, this could be done within one month. Not okay, one I, year, I, not... So let, let me repeat it back to make sure I understand. So you're, sure, you, you need a very, you need a concrete, solid legal structure for the underlying IP. It needs to be registered. Yes, you recognize it's being registered. You can't cut corners there because that, that's the foundation that you're going to build this whole exercise on. But when you have your IP properly registered, which takes some money and some time, but not as much as securities, then you can do this tokenization of the transactions related to that underlying IP. And that's- Yes. Okay. Yes, correct, that's, correct. That's a very interesting idea. Okay, and you've done this successfully. It's not It's not just a theory. Yes, huh. we implemented, we work in the last two years very active in this industry and this fully recognized and properly structured the uh, product on the market. Okay. So what kind of IP lends itself to this kind of solution? What, what's the ideal? Is it a patent? Is it a trademark? Is it a copyright? I mean, and what kind of subjects of that intellectual property? Uh, better to go under the copyright because all okay. digital assets should be protected under the copyright as per DMCA law. Digital Millennium Copyright Act. Yeah, sure. Recognized as a copyright protection as a base for digital assets. Because patent mostly for technical devices, uh, trademark uh, for industrial property like recognition of the brand. But for the digital, for virtual, copyright registration is best, but copyright also different copyright. We need the validated copyright registration where copyright office will conduct the search for uniqueness of the applied item, will conduct analysis of protectability. Because almost all copyright offices are working by notification. Whatever you will apply, they'll register automatically. This pure main register uh, copyright not valid. And we're using the uh, such copyright of registration to conduct whole analysis examination. Like we're working with Germany, with, with some others. It should be best. Best. And second, if you prove, uh, if you're absolutely correct, we need some kind of product. No pure idea. We need something implemented like mobile application or some algorithm or web application. Mm -hmm. Something should be workable. We, as a leaders in this industry, we are not supporting to issue the IP IP registration for just pure idea. Something should exist. Yes, there are requirements of registration, MVP operational. You are right. That here should be very strong. This our part. Then especially we will be responsible for this. Okay. All right. So who who 
All right, so I, I understand what you're saying. The, and is there a, a particular kind of product or particular, I understand that you're saying copyright is the main IP domain, I, I get it. And you're saying that there should be a practical application of the technology. Is there a specific technological niche within that or does it apply across the board to all cutting edge? All, all industries, all industries. The main, what are the main requirements? First, uh, the author, who created who created this work or product and the right holder as a right holder could be a company or private individual as a human mm -hmm. they should be from the country which is a member of burn convention on copyright yes this number one number two mvp should be created number three uh the search analysis should be clear it should be not plagiarism because we, we have a lot of clients who coming to us oh we have a beautiful product good per they applying and when we conduct the search, we found it's just a copy of a long time existing product. So it should be unique. It should be not a replica of something else. Sure. And we go very in depth for this one. If it's a uh, criteria is matching, then we can provide the uh, IP certificate in proper way. And next should be done value, valuation. Valuation should be done in strong accordance with international standard two, 210. Valuation of intangible assets as per International Valuation Standard Council organization located in London and accredited by United Nations to conduct this such kind of uh, transaction standards. This is very important. We are very strong and illegal. So registration should be done under the Berne Convention, administered by World Intellectual Property Organization. Valuation should be done in Valuation Standard 210 by International IFCS. Okay. These two main criteria for international treaties will as, will help us to create the properly recognized real economy. In this way, even these uh, changes of the prices will not react on the value of the project because valuation of that as per real economy. We should prepare the small business plan, financial model, and to calculate the value in proper way. This is great. Do you, do you have a white paper or article or document explaining this? Yeah, of course, of course, of course. We, Okay, so we'll, 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 we'll put a link to that in the show notes if, if, if it's okay. Yeah, yeah. And a way for people yeah, to yeah, definitely. We, we can share, we can share. We, we, we support, we're promoting such kind of news tool. At least what is available on the market. You you have my, you have my mind thinking about, I, I think I could probably refer you to some clients. This, this is great. Okay, <laughs> now just because this is a short show, the second topic you wanted to cover was? Yeah, so fundraising. Okay, let's, because, let's, you know, let's you move know, to that. Uh, yes, uh, you know, uh, in all economies all around the world, there are now we, we see the transformation. This is this is a structural transformation. For example, uh, from fiat money now all understand it should be crypto money, and some movement started already recognized. In for example, car industry, car from petrol we are going to electric. Yes, in all industry come transformation. Same transformation happened in IP, also from old system, which was based on industrial property, like patent and the trademark, it's moved to the most to the copyright, because copyright yeah. to digital. Also transformation going in the Wait, strategy. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Say that, say that very last part, I, maybe I missed that. Did you say that all intellectual property is moving towards copyright because copyright is digital? Did I yes. hear that correctly? Yeah. You that's see, bold, because that's a bold statement. So you're saying copyright is eating is eating patent, trademarks, yes. and uh, what do you call them? Trade secrets. Yeah, patent, patent industry dying because it was based on technical devices. To that technical device in nothing. All money generated items, the social media accounts, mobile applications, they're all digital. Before it was manufactured equipment, it was important. Today it's not important. You can use any equipment, any server. But the main idea come to the product, to the creativity, to the content. This is all the digital. And digital only copyright. Okay, and, and just to go into a niche, is our business method patents moving over to copyright or are those still like... Of course, there? business method all, protection business method all under the patent industry is just waste of money. It's never going to work. It's, it's, it's dying industry. I'm very sorry to say because a lot of companies that spend millions, millions in patent but I am on the in the re, in the reality they are not working. Okay, because back back when I was playing around with this, I was all I was State Street. The case was one of my favorites and got me excited about this stuff because it, it was sort of the algorithmic patents 
that I thought was a very clever idea, but now you're saying don't bother. You know, algorithmic patterns, if you check the description, always touching the devices. Yeah. Which means if you if you will receive pattern for algorithm, I can take your pattern, I can change device, change small parameter, I can receive another pattern. Oh, that's tricky. Okay. Because what uh, just if you go to the history, because I'm very in depth in this industry, why patent was invented? Why patent appeared? The main idea of the patent was to take knowledge from the inventor until he is alive to the society proposal. Yeah. If somebody invented something, he can die and knowledge will go with him. To avoid the situation 120 years ago, government or this okay, let's support him, take knowledge from him to the government because government should have access to the innovation to develop the country or the whole industry. This was the idea. Mm. Patent was not created to protect his right and to remove any unfair companies for the market. Absolutely. It's another subject because patent required for recognition for the others. And this, if I, if I receive patent, for example, for this cup, mm. and I make this uh, one centimeter down, I can receive another pattern. Because pattern is a part of the industrial property, they protect it in identical replication. Because it's machine, you know, it's like form. I understand. If in other words. So this is the idea of the pattern. This pattern almost not possible to remove somebody from the market. But this okay, copyright... You know, I, I, sorry, I, I took you down this whole road because you... you caught my brain when you said copy you know how there's an expression like software is eating the world you just kind of said copyright is eating ip and it's like huh yeah. okay but let's let's go back just because we're short on time on this one. Oh, you know yeah, yeah the, the fundraising you know, part of ip uh, go ahead. just uh, you know um this reason why all of lawyers honestly speak hating me because they know. pushing they pushing uh in top but i'm on the business side i'm not on the lawyer side we are business developer lawyers. Why is all those lawyers hating me? Because when I tell the guys, why are you pushing all to receive the patents? Because patents have been financially very interesting for lawyers because an entrepreneur should pay for every country, every account, uh, yeah. industry, extension, pay, 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 pay. With copyright, one time registration, 20 days, 181 counties all around the world. And and do you have the same ability as to like go tell customs don't import this is violating my copyright? Of course, because with copyright protection even stronger because it's not protect the replication or some exactly expression of the form. Copyright protect creative concept of the product and independent higher higher or down this will be creative concept protected. It's like on the example of the book. If you write any book with very very interesting uh, concept of, of the story, mm -hmm. and if somebody will make a replica of the story, change the character names, change the place, but concept will be the same, you can sue it and you can prohibit. It. Because it, creative it, it's a work. Yes, yes. Okay, th 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 this is a whole oh, stop. This is a whole different show. So talk to me yeah. about intellectual <laughs> property and fundraising. Yeah. Now we go for why I started for the transformation. Because even in business ownership strategy, business ownership strategy also coming to the transformation. And this transformation means be owner of the product directly, mm -hmm. but not owner of the company who owns the product. Okay. Today, legal solutions existing, which can make you directly owner of the mobile application or some business concept, business model whatever you create direct as a human you have right but if you check today all parking or all trying to park all the ip to the company but if company will be closed you will lose everything yeah if company closed all ip registered you want this is how working unethical um and unfair competitors okay you have 100 patterns this is 100 months we can initiate the case against the company company close you lose everything this is a big headache. And to make your uh, work that you have created, your product unattackable, you can register on your name. Because if it register on your name directly, your owner, then you can uh, have right, as per license, give to the company for commercial using. Because commercial exploitation should be done better for the commercial entities. That license, bank account should, should be required. Yes. This is the transformation business ownership strategy. If you check 
all big 20 companies, Microsoft, Facebook, you will be very excited that on the end, they belong to physical person, not to the companies. I'm also like a game changer and maybe I can receive a lot of fading in other from big corporation, but I'm on the SME side, small medium enterprises. Mm -hmm. Because this knowledge is how to make business unattackable, efficient, should be available for small men, not only for the big corporations. I say, especially for the SME market, they need to yes. do more. Yeah. Now, if you understand this transformation, be mm -hmm. owner of the product, but not owner of the company, now you have right to attract partners, investors, selling part of the product, but not selling equity or security or stock for the company. This is next step. First, move ownership from company to your, to your name. Second, mm -hmm. start selling from product directly. And this gives you opportunity to make the fundraising directly when you sell the share of intellectual property to potential investor partners, and they will be co-owner. It will be like a um, board of IP own owners. And all together, you can give this IP rights for commercialization to any company, any account as per license. And do they do, do they acquire any sort of fractional interest in IP or is it a contractual right? Uh, so uh, copyright belongs to contractual law. Very good question, by the way. Okay. What does it mean? Is the high flexibility. For example, I can tell that I'm selling this IP and I'm allowed to circulate this IP only in a certain region. Yes. You have right to put the business condition. And I promise that I will pay to them 10% from that profit. Whatever I have declared, I should deliver and execute. That's it. There are no such strong regulations like equity. Equity you can receive as an investor only benefits or dividends uh, as per one time per year or two times per year. Mm -hmm. Same the security and stocks. They are very limited. By copyright, you will pay the reality. And reality belongs to contractual law. You can tell, okay, I will pay $1 per user or 10% from total revenue. Very flexible. 2,000 options. How you can calculate revenue? You can pay royalty even every day. It's up to you. So you're taking it out the dividend legal music. bucket. You're yes. Taking it out of the dividend world and moving it into the royalty world. Yes. The different yes. World apply. Absolutely. And this royalty flexibility gives me very, very attractive such kind of fundraising through the IP. First, when you're selling the, your property split by the shares, no need to receive any license. For investment out because you're selling your property. If I want to sell a car, I don't need a license like car selling company. It's my car, I, I, I have a right to sell. Mm -hmm. Same with IP. If it's your IP, you can sell, but I want to split and sell to 10,000 people. But it's my property. No need to, to get investment license, go under regulation in, in UIF, for example, ADGM, DIFC. No need, it's your property, you're just selling. This is how it could be done. And now, one if somebody will buy, they will be agree with general terms of condition about circulating or such kind of IP shares. And they will be very happy because they can receive royalty. It will be capital gain because the price of IP shares can increase. But it's IP. It's not investment tool. It's not securities. It's not stocks. This is intellectual property. In this way, please keep in mind IP fundraising. This is future of crowd investing. Okay. This is very interesting. Yeah. IP fundraising. And you, you have documentation on this also or white paper or article? Of course, of course. We can provide, we can deliver because we, we're closing the, uh, we have successful deals. The one of the clients, they already made fundraising for 50 million United States dollars. You know, it's very successful cases. Very little to share, absolutely. As I said to you, my mission is to give this knowledge which are available only for the top rate of the big companies to SME. And I really fully to share with you. You're awesome. Okay. Um, again, it's a short format show, but we went a little bit long because you're it's been, it's very, very interesting. Um, do, do you want to wrap up with any thought or do you want to sh share a little anything? Well, I, I think th th that's enough. Uh, that's, this first that enough. Okay. <laughs> I said e even your mind is like blowing up because so many new knowledges. It's like and, and my, for, my forehead is expanding and my hair is moving back. <laughs> so, uh, I, 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 Dr. Senator, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Hopefully, we'll come back on the show. Uh, we're going to publish this probably a week from now. I'll schedule it on YouTube, and we're going to get a nice 
description with a link to all your resources yes, so that when we put it out there, absolutely. people can tap in. So I'm going to stop recording now. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Uh, please reach out to the doctor if any of this is of interest. And of course, let him know that you saw him on this nice video. Thank you, everyone.